What brings the worst out in people? Mystery of stuff. Funerals. All the heightened emotions make people irrational. Any buried family drama comes out at the worst possible time. I've been caught in the middle of it before. I didn't even know the deceased, I was there supporting my friend who had lost her mother. Someone decided this was the time to wear a 20-year-old grudge as my friend walked by. My friend was so caught off guard by the accusations she was speechless. I told this crazy lady this wasn't the time or the place for this conversation so she turned on me. Next thing I knew some other family member was violently yanking her out of the room. I guess it could have been worse, but why did you have to make a scene at a funeral? I'm still ashamed of how I acted at my cousin's funeral. His wife, whom he adored, had cheated on him and moved out with that dude, he killed himself shortly after, we assume, Marine Corps still won't tell us cause of death. She not only showed up, but gave a speech with super fake tears about how in love they were. My uncle had to forcibly hold me back from attacking her. Here it's his son's funeral, and he's has to be feeling this much worse than me but he's gotta hold me back. I apologized later obviously. Also fuck you straight to hell Whitney. Inheritances. I've seen both my family and friends' families absolutely ripped apart after someone dies, and another family member doesn't feel they've received their share, or that the will was unfair, or that property mysteriously goes missing before the estate is settled. Awful, awful stuff. I think the worst is my friend's dad and his sister haven't spoken for over 30 years due to a squabble over their mother's will. 30 years. The kicker is that they're both quite well off on their own friend's dad is a very, very successful trial lawyer and friends and married a successful doctor. This wasn't money either of them ever actually needed, but they've not had a relationship for decades because of it. My grandmother isn't even dead and people are already deciding how they'll split the inheritance like there won't be a will. She's got hundreds of thousand and I've been consistently telling her to spend it all on herself. The lady never had a brand new car in all her life. She's 90 and got her license before she hit 20, she bought a thick ass CRV recently and a house for her and her daughter, Cash. I always like the halt rule. If you're feeling hungry, angry, late or tired then it's likely things you say or do will come off worse than you intend. Edit, lots of replies about the L being lonely. That works too. Turns out learning acronyms differently brings out the worst in some people too. Divorce proceedings. Especially with kids involved. It can turn a couple of average people into monsters. Jealousy. Not just for success. I've seen many relationships crumble because someone was happier than the other. Some good answers here, to which I'll add, giving things away for free. I've had the surreal experience of working at a Long Island tennis tournament attended by generally very wealthy people. They arrived in top-end luxury cars or limos, wearing designer clothes and watches worth more than my car. I was tasked with opening a case of some sort of little branded tchotchke, like cheap pens, keychains, etc., and handing them out to the attendees as they walked the sponsor areas. People went berserk, shoving each other, lunging across the table, thank cripes there was a table, to grab stuff from my hand, missing key tennis matches to lurk by our tent, awaiting the next crap dispersal wow. I've seen this type of thing happen many other times too, with people going to great lengths just to get some pittance of which they have no need. I was floored how in the book all these extremely wealthy women who flew to Paris on a private jet that had a state-of-the-art yoga studio inside of it, wanted to take all of the hotel freebies, bottled water, and cook ramen in their hotel room. Weddings. My father is a minister. He says he would rather help with a funeral over a wedding any day. Weddings leave people with a sense of extreme desperation to achieve perfection. When you were told to wait 20 minutes, and it's now been 21 minutes, and you are still waiting. Hunger can make people do things they never thought they were capable of doing. It can drive your mind out of control. This is why the food bank is my favorite charity to give to. I've never experienced true food insecurity, 
but I've been moderately hungry from time to time and notice how terrible everything becomes from your mood to the ability to function. How can anyone hope to improve their situation in life with that kind of constant debuff? The word free in a retail or restaurant type of setting. People will trample one another, take all of the items so there aren't any for others, gorge themselves, try to sneak food out with them. It's disgusting. There was a clinic in my city that wanted to try the Robin Hood style service where they would charge well-off patients but treat the poor for free. This ended up backfiring as they got flooded with poor patients, and even those who could afford treatment pretending to not be able to. They closed down and presumably moved location within a year. Edit, third world country with a good portion of lower income families, lazy enforcement of laws, and IDING of citizens. When a loved one dies. People get really, really weird in a bad way about money and stuff. I know a bunch of people who had relatives who flat out stole money and valuables after the death of a family member. It's crazy. My own family has a permanent rift because when my grandmother died, two of the five siblings cleaned out her accounts. <laughs>